Hello, hi. I just wanted to make a quick introduction to this vlog. So this vlog is uh, a compilation of the things I have been up to this week. And first of all, we went um, bowling since a long time. We hadn't done it for a long time. And then we went to an arcade hall in the weekend on Friday night and i have been doing a lot of garden work you will see that as well uh, plus of course some uh, floofy footage of all my animals and i created the bunny pasties which i will show here um what else i have a lot of exciting things still to happen in the next vlog so uh, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the fun things that are happening like the uh, pinup shoot that i'm planning uh, that is happening this saturday which you will see in the next vlog um, which i'm doing all the last minute preparations for at the moment and yeah i hope you will enjoy this vlog and if you want to buy the pasties here is the link to my shop Make sure to check out my shop. There's a lot of other goodies in there as well. And I will see you next time. Enjoy the vlog. Bye. Hello, hi, this is Voice Over Me. Today I'm gonna be sowing some seeds. It is March, which means that the start of the growing season, which is about May, is coming closer every single day. And if I want to have plants that I can um, put into my garden, I need to start right now. So that is why I have started to sow some things inside. I'm starting with pumpkin and eggplant today. These two need quite a little bit of time to um, grow before I can actually put them out in the garden. And they will not go out into the garden before uh, probably late May. Because they really need a lot of heat and there really cannot be any chance of frost for them. Um, because they will not survive. So make sure to cover your earth after you put in your seeds and take out the clumps because you don't want them to be in your trays. bit more seeds left so I decided to pot the leftover seeds up in some other pots to see what the difference would be because then uh, I don't need to transfer the seedlings uh, in between before they can go out into the actual ground <laughs> 
And I'm also going to be sowing some cat's grass because my cats love chewing all the grass-like plants outside. And uh, yeah, they end up in uh, pukes and stuff all the time. So I was thinking, how about I give them some nice cat grass for a change? Make sure to label everything correctly so you know what you have sown in the trays. Because I will not be able to remember what is in what tray. So I would recommend doing this. Good morning, I took today to take some more rest because I wasn't feeling too well but I did find time in this whole week to finally finish my Easter pasties which are these cute bunny shaped ones. I have uh, in the end made two pairs um, but I'm working on the first one in these clips um, and I hope you will enjoy this little time lapse of me working on them and I'll show you the end result in a little bit. Today it is time to finally remove all of these trellises that have been kind of ruined by the plants that are growing over them. They are falling apart on multiple spots and it is time to um, take them apart and replace them with new ones. I gotta say I found this whole process really, um, really fun. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, sometimes it's good to uh, be able to, um, I don't know, get your emotions out uh, at things in the garden, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I uh, I was taking care of taking these trusses apart because they had uh, a lot of uh, things uh, like metal um, hanging out. This side was a little bit more hassle because I have a beautiful rose, actually two roses climbing kind of against the trellis. So I really needed to do a lot of um, taking apart the binding that was binding it to the trellis, but it, it turned out okay in the end.
hello hi um i am jumping in the vlog at this point because i want to tell you guys a little bit about what i'm actually planning to do to my uh, garden because uh, you've seen me taking apart some of the old trellises and they are going to be replaced by new ones because these ones were like falling apart uh and stuff like that which i showed you uh the trellises have been completely removed and taken away and the new trellises have been bought and they are ready to be installed but that will happen next week for now i just wanted to share my idea for the trellises so i'll put in a photoshop picture <laughs> and there's a lot more happening hopefully fingers crossed this year to my garden uh, i want to make uh, raised beds with or like raised or like is it raised beds i don't know like borders with um, like old vintage looking stones I will also put a picture of that here so you can see what I mean my inspiration I made like mood boards for everything <laughs> and then something that I'm also hoping to do this with this this year because I used to have this little water feature um, but my dog just liked to drink out of it and it got just full of nothingness. So I'm hoping that I can maybe try it again and make it actually a water feature with um, an actual fountain in it. So I will post also, i show you my mood board for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, the garden is going to go through a lot of changes and this is mainly like... Uh, I have been working on my garden for a lot of years. I've lived in his house for eight years. since we got Finn um, and he's turning three so it's been it's been a bit of time um, I've had to uh, adjust to uh, having a big dog in kind of a small garden because I used to have uh, a lovely grass but the grass just kind of withered away because he as a puppy he peed a lot outside and uh, he just like runs through it and kind of like destroys it um, so I'm gonna try and actually fill my lawn with very uh, low growing plants that are gonna spread hopefully so that is that is the plan and I'm working towards that slowly because um, and if you know that plants are very expensive help me I'm poor um, so I'm just here and there trying to pick up more of the same species and like dotting them around uh, the empty spaces because there's a lot of just empty bare earth right now so it's not really nice to look at and when it rains it just gets super muddy so i'm trying to fix that problem once and for all let's hope that it actually works um so yeah because because of Finn, i had to make some changes to the garden design that i previously had because i used to not really have any separate borders um but because he's like going into everything and like running into it jumping into it um and walking over the more fragile plants and maybe pee on peeing on them he is he's a boy he's a boy next what have you got this little wooden puppet i'm not a puppet i'm a real boy <laughs> Five shillings for the possessed toy. Take it away. Next boy, so he <laughs> he will mark. Um, there's not really a good way for me to prevent that. Um, cannot really stand next to him outside in the garden, like don't pee. But yeah. So now my idea is to make some kind of at least a little bit of a clearer division between the borders and the like lawn bit. Um, but also, I'm also planning to lay some more um, uh, bricks uh, on the 
I have like a small portion of my garden that is also in the back that also used to have grass but now is also kind of bare with nothing. Uh, so there, there's a lot of things happening hopefully this year uh, and now I'm gonna take you along. So the first, first step which had to be done anyway was take apart the trellises, uh, replace them with new ones uh, because uh, and then drape over the plants that are actually growing like over them so i have a wisteria that i need to attach to it again and i have a beautiful red rose that i'm gonna attach to it so it can like grow into like an archway where you have to walk through um yeah so that's that's the first step in my bigger plan and i've already uh found uh that a lot of people are selling or like uh on on my flats are just giving away free stones that i could use to build this like small um i don't know like probably two stones high divisions between my uh, lawn and my borders so um, yeah I'm, I'm hoping that somewhere in the coming weeks we can maybe uh, move some stone here and uh, then i can slowly start making them but in the next week's vlog and i wish you a very nice weekend and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time Bye!